subscribe and share. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp and today I am going to show you how to add a image view within Android Studio in the Beekeepers tool application. So as far as this goes, this will be the main page. The buttons will obviously be changed around. And if you've seen my previous video, it will show you how to upload your own button image in the back so you can get something that looks like this. And if you do go to the GitHub page where I have all the stuff linked, you can actually get these the images of the buttons there so you don't have to search for them. But anyways, uh, let's continue on this after the quick 12 second or so ad. Thanks for sticking around during the ads. Please feel free to click on the icons shown to be taken to areas where you can help us. All links will be below for mobile and other users. So, as far as the image layouts, some of you may notice that when you throw it on there, it doesn't really show anything and you can't find it. And that is meant to be. Now, one thing I want to make clear is there's a difference between the image button and an image view. A image button is a button with an image on it. So, like say, uh, click on a cow and you can have a picture of a cow. That's a button or image button. Image view is just the view, uh, just the image. Now, with this, if I throw this within here, again, it won't show anything. So what I will want to do is I want to make sure that whatever I want the background to be is within here. And this is what I'm aiming for. I might up the, uh, the actual thing a little bit. So what I will do is if, if I want it as the icon launcher, what I might do is go within here, just, just delete that. And then let's go into the um, highest resolution and just copy and paste this within this area. Now it used to be not, not so much like this, but um, I, I, I kind of prefer these type of changes. And it used to be where you can pretty much put the image anywhere. So. Let's go press enter twice and um, you can keep this little carrot on the end, the end of the statement right there, wherever you want. But I try to, to put one below where I'm coding and do Android background drawable IC launcher. Now, one thing you may notice is it's showing right here and I made one right around here at the top. So what I will do is go back into design and, uh, and what I will do is within this area, throw down vertical, since it's a vertical thing, then a um, horizontal, or I can just leave it as is. In fact, um, it, it, this, this top one I can change to the horizontal if I want, but it really doesn't matter. And what I will do is just throw everything down that I um, don't want at the top. Change the gravity to center. And sorry about that, wrong one. And then with this area, I just need to make sure that it says wrap content and um, and that, that's basically saying that it will take as much space as it will use now one thing I will mention is if you do end up um, clicking the wrong thing you'll get a result like this it's easy to fix so yes I did mean to do that and to fix it all you have to do is click that and throw in another thing so for example I can just throw in another one of these and uh, put that right there and uh, with the second one I can just do it center and with this one make sure it's center but also make sure it's fill parent and make sure that's fill parent and 
again the wrap content basically says I will only use as much space that I require now one thing I will tell you is as you're adding more buttons I know this is off topic but as you're adding more buttons you might want to focus on or if you're going for smaller screen sizes you might want to focus on putting in a scroll view within here so people can can see all the buttons in other words if they go off screen the person can't touch them they can't interact with them so that's a pretty big thing that you want to keep in mind but anyways that's uh that's how you can add a image view and um and add any image that you want i would advise if you're doing this if this doesn't change then simply take out the id and that that way there's no confusion that's just a personal thing with me i i don't care for ids for things that doesn't change for things like buttons text views that might change image views that might change things of that nature yeah keep the ids because you have to have it for things of this nature since it's not required it's just take it out and that way if your application does become big you don't get confused on trying to figure out what's what but anyways this has been great ben found an owner tech views up and hopefully this has helped you out in figuring out how to put a image within the image view and how to work that thing out if you do have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section and go ahead and and add anything information wise in the comment section if you want and if you like this then please leave a like subscribe share check my my other videos and link provided and if you don't like it go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why it's like fixing future videos again this will be in github so you can get the source code right there and it's pretty straightforward so anyways it's been craven founder on our tech views nope i hope you have a great day